I can actually, yes. I can actually put a building on the foundation here for you, like uh, do it in a day, yeah. if you guys will let me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll probably start uh, removing all the debris sometime next week. I don't have it yet. Uh, yeah. Because I don't own the building. I own the business. Yes. So yes. that's the landlord is. So you had a leasing arrangement or something, right? Re renting yeah. arrangement. Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, that's the plan. The landlord, I'm sure, is being good to you, understand oh, the situation. He's been great. He's been that's amazing. great. So he's taking care of us. Good. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, that's great. I'm glad, very glad to hear that. Holy cow. Look at this. Yeah. And, uh, it's a good size operation for us. Yeah. You, you, you. But your actual footprint where you're doing this classic car restoration right here, right here. 15,000 square feet. Yeah, right. I mean, so I, I don't think people that are seeing Chris right now uh, have an understanding, seeing this video, right. have an appreciation. This is a 15,000 square foot That's big. facility. That's right. a good sized facility. Right. And uh, just unbelievable what the what the winds did, what the storm did. This tornado was just ungodly. Oh, so he's, he's, he's insane. And you know, it just came out of nowhere. Out of just, nowhere. Yeah. Out of nowhere. So it's, uh, you know, yeah, like, we don't have these in L.A. Right. <laughs> it's just a hat that I got to look at. I'm not from there. I'm originally from Mexico City. But oh, really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, Is like, that your foundation there, too? No, that's not. That's I mean, it belongs to the same landlord, but it, it was no... That building right there is sitting across the street. It, it there was a building there. It was a building there, and it picked it up and landed across the street. All the debris you see out there. That's the building. Oh my God! Yeah, unbelievable. It's just un the force, the strength of the storm. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Devastation. Oh my God! And we're right here. I don't know if people understand, but we're right here alongside I-35. I mean, literally, right he, on top. He of has I a restaurant. Trail does. That's his restaurant. Oh, is it? Okay. Two miles down the road, yeah, too. Yeah, no, I've, I've been there plenty of times. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the Parker Brothers. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, awesome. yeah. yeah. Well, I, my family was in the restaurant business, so I understand entrepreneurial work. Right. And started the business, you know, uh, well, oh, about 45 years ago, they started the restaurant business. My father and grandfather and uh, a couple of uncles and an aunt. And hard to believe, right? Of course. So, of course. But... You know, that's what it's all about in America and here in Texas is the land of entrepreneurial dreams, right? You want to be able to have the ability to provide for your family and create a great business. No place to do it like Texas, right? No place to do it like uh, Despite this horrific uh, assault from Mother Nature this week, right? We can't control it. You know, that's that's right. That's plan. Uh, the Lord's in control, of course. And that's it, yeah. you know. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a blessing to, to be alive and be, you know. Yes. Back in, every day know, we have day, is a blessing from the Lord. Every, we know day, that. Every day. So, yeah. Uh, but, but, yeah, I'm, I'm here just uh, yeah. taking care of my stuff, my business, and uh, like I said, we'll, we'll keep fighting. We'll yeah. get back up for sure. So I'm curious, just in terms of one other topic, the yeah. notification, uh, when it all happened, yeah. you and your colleagues weren't here at the time, we're thankfully. Not, right. You're home here in the area. Right. How were you notified? You know, there, I mean, you know, there was really no notice. No one had any kind of notice. I know it all happened so quickly. It happened so quickly. But, uh, it, you know, looking at how Texas can invest in additional technologies to improve early response is a very important thing. But Correct. you didn't really have any knowledge, any awareness, nothing before I, I, it started. I think you said your alarm went off, huh? That's yeah, what... so my alarm went off, and automatically when the alarm goes off, we get a notification. Okay, tied to your own personal mobile device, tied probably. Right. Correct. Okay. And... But that might be good technology for the state of Texas yeah. with this AI thing. Oh, no, I want to understand it. And yeah, better. What we can do there. Cameras went down, so automatically and I get a notification as well. So if the cameras went down, the, the, the alarm security went down. It's, I mean, yeah, two, completely two, went two down. Two plus two. Two plus two, so that we knew so, there was a major problem. Right? Yeah, but uh, so, that it probably hadn't hit yet. Then it was probably just very close. No, it was it was actually when it hit. Okay, just, that was actually when it hit. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they would have gone down if if you know if it if, was if, just outside correct. outside the door, so to speak, correct. or the perimeter. So we knew there was that problem. Then I got a call from the sheriff's department, and they let me know. 
that yeah. there was a big issue and they didn't come here right away. Yeah. So. Well, I know the Cook County Sheriff and the Denton County Sheriff and did an amazing job. The counties, right. Denton County, of course, helped our neighboring county here 100%. in Cook County and yeah. came together to, to solve the problem together. And then the Texas Department of Emergency Management's done a wonderful job. Yeah. Uh, being here from the very beginning as well. Uh, did, you, did, did you have an Arlo system or a camera like that? Both. Or? Oh, Both. nice. I got an alarm system. I got 17 cameras on the property. Wow. And, uh, no, we're tied into your cell phone. And correct. You, and you probably correct. saw them go black or something. They and went you, black. And I you knew something was correct. up because that. So I still have to recover all the footage from the cloud. Yes. So we haven't oh, wow. digged into it yet. But I'd love will. to see that footage if yeah. you share it with me. I'll give you my contact information, but we'd love to Course, love yeah. to see it obviously if there's anything we can learn from it lessons for the future of course yeah, yeah. from of emergency course. And, I, and i think frankly my colleagues at the texas department of emergency management like to see it as well to see how we yeah. can better preserve and protect life in these kind of horrific situations so, of course yeah I mean, wherever you guys need of course uh if i could help with anything yeah well you know have to do no. that, well so. you've been terrific i really yeah. just appreciate you taking the time here in the evening to share with us what's gone on this week what's transpired here on your property and what you're dealing with now as you get uh, back to the process of rebuilding your life and rebuilding your business and recovery. So, you know, and uh, like I said, I mean, I have employees, you know, they got families as well. Yeah, so, you got to uh, feed those families. Feed those families. They've got so, do you have, do you have kids? Family? I, I don't have kids yet, but, you know, I have a big family of my parents. And they, right, they're right. godly still alive, you know, and right, I right. have a wife. And, uh, and she's missing right. her husband right now. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. I was okay. talking about it earlier with yeah. her, you know. Hey, I miss you. I'm like, but thank you for understanding, you know. Yeah. Just have to be here. And yeah, absolutely. I have to take care of my property and everything. But, you know, yeah. it's, you know, everybody's understanding. My clients are really understanding. They're helping us a lot, you know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Because, you, you know, they, they understand it. They understand. It was a, nothing, all right. certainly beyond your control. Correct. It's out yeah. of control. So, yeah. Good. But, you know, everything is, is working out fine. You know, it's just the time. Just wait, be patient, and, you know, to try to do everything right. And, yeah. Well, look, we we'll pray for a quick recovery for you and praying for all the families. Of course, the mo most unimaginable thing to lose a loved one have occurred here this week right behind your building. And I'm just praying for everybody involved. Thank so, you. And Thank again, you. as I've said before, you know, we're here for as long as it takes to get the full restoration. So. I appreciate you guys. God bless Thank you. you. God bless Great you too. All right. Thank Take care you. of yourself. Right. Woo! And our flag was still there. Friends and family, thank you for joining me here at the American News Network. I'm going to need all your support because, and that's through my church. If you got a church, just come help us out. This is just about helping the community. But as you can see, FEMA and the federal government's nowhere to be found. We got the good state of Texas, the state of Texas only. All of our money's been shipped to the Ukraine and the Gaza. Even up in Marietta, I see FEMA, and all they've got is the ability to pass out water bottles. And then work for me. I don't know if it works for you. How you doing? Chris Sanders. Been up. Good to meet you. How have things been? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> nice meeting you, man. Good meeting you, sir.
America, we can do better than this. You know why? Because we're a country that loves each other. Love begets love, hate begets hate. And you can notice the efforts of a good tree by its fruit. For a good tree produces good fruit. And when we do good things, good things happen and a bad tree produces bad fruit. Nice. You can recognize the results of bad fruit and destruction. And when God is not happy with us, the nation, God is not happy with us. And the feds aren't here and 95 billion went to Israel and not a dollar's dropping here. Like I said, just thank God. The good old state senator, Tan Parker, is out on location doing what he can. to save the people of Texas. God bless you and thanks for listening to the American News Network, major news network on Roku and smart televisions. And you can find me at the Google Play Store or at the Apple Store just by typing major news network on your app and it will pop up and uh, you'll see us or go to your smartphone and uh, type on the Google Play thing or go to your smart TV and type in major news network on all Roku televisions and download our app and we're going to be streaming 24-7 with news, news from what can save us in the condition, the condition that we're in now. God bless you and thanks for listening.